Hi, this is Sachin, founder and CEO of Requestly. Requestly can help you speed up your web development, testing, and debugging workflows. Using Requestly, you can intercept and modify any part of your HTTP request and response, be it URL, host name, request and response headers, request body, or even API responses. So let's take a look. After installing Requestly, you can click on New Rule button to set up the traffic modification rules. Requestly provides several rules to modify individual parts of requests and responses. For example, you can use the redirect request feature to map your production scripts or APIs to your local running code. This can help you uh, test your local code directly on production sites and that too without deployment. Isn't this magic? Similarly, you can use the replace string rule to swap environments on your sites. You can use the cancel request rule to block network requests, modify requests and response headers, modifying query parameters, uh, modifying the API request payload, and modifying API responses directly running on the production sites. And you can use delay network request to simulate delays in your APIs. Once you create the rules, you can organize your rules into different groups. So you can select some, some rules and you can change the groups. And you can also share the rules with your teammates by Again, selecting and clicking on share. You can provide your name and click on share button. You can also pin the rules for quick accessibility via pop up, the rules that you frequently use. Requestly also provides mock server that you can use when your backend is not ready to create dummy endpoints. So you can simply say create new mock and define the response that you need. For example, response is hello world and hello world and you can just specify the path that you need so you can create and you get an endpoint that you can hit so there is also session recording feature that you can use with your qa and customer support guys so that they can send you the recordings with video network logs and console logs so you can reproduce and debug issues faster. This is how it works. So when you go to session recording, you can click on configure button and you can specify the pages where you want requested to auto record the sessions. So here's an example of a session that was pre-recorded. So if you look at this, you see all the mouse movements of the user and all the console logs, all the network logs here. So these are the APIs, so you can see the requests and responses, etc. You can also get environment details. I hope it helps. Happy debugging.